What's up, CAG students? This is Mr. N again, and today we are solving simple inequalities. First of all, let's look at the difference between equations and inequalities. You've dealt with equations. They use the equal sign. We're having something equals something else. But today we're dealing with inequalities. They use these signs. Greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. So something is greater than something else, or something is less than or equal to something else. Let's begin. All right, well, let's start with what these symbols mean. Now we have g is greater than 3. And what was that? Oh my god, what is that? Ah! 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 Hello. Well, that was delicious. Anyways, I'm going to continue this lesson. G is greater than 3. Now, you can think about this greater than symbol like my mouth. I want to eat the larger number. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. G is greater than 3. Here, G is less than 3. I'd rather eat the 3 because it's big. Yum, 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 yum. Okay? So, greater than, less than. Now, let's see how we graph it on the number line. As you can see, I've graphed it here. Th G is greater than 3, so I counted 0, 1, 2, 3, and I have a little open circle. Now, that open circle is really important. We'll come back to that later. So this blue line represents all values of G. So G could be 4, because 4 is greater than 3. It could be 5, because 5 is greater than 3. It could be 6 million, because 6 million is greater than 3. Now, does that include 3? No, it does not. 3 is not included. 3 is not greater than 3. 3 is equal to 3. Similarly, G is less than 3. Okay? So I started at 3 with an open circle because it does not include 3. And it's the blue line is all values less than 3. So G could be... 2, 1, 0, it could be negative 4, it could be negative a million, it does not matter. Any value less than 3 can be G. Now let's look at another symbol and how it's different from this one. Now these symbols are almost identical. As you can see, G is greater than 3, but there's a little line underneath. That means greater or equal to. The only difference between this and just greater than is it includes 3. And as you can see in the number line, it's represented. This circle is now filled in, and the blue line and the circle represents all values of G. So G is greater than or equal to 3. G can be 4, 5, 700,000, or 3. Same thing here. G is less than or equal to 3 less or equal to. That includes 3 and all values less than 3. Here's your first example question. K can be expressed as what inequality? Here's the next question. J could be expressed as what inequality? M can be represented by what expression? Okay, and here's another chance to do more questions. A little bit of pause for the questions. A little bit of pause for the questions. Oh yeah, oh yeah, woo! Okay, that's enough pause. Remember, kids, you can learn from your mistakes. Don't get too upset if you don't get it right. All right, I'm going to go revive that teacher now. Bye-bye.